everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I get to present to you three new Star Wars nanoscale ships from the designer Alex Capodre. We have the Pelta class frigate, consular class cruiser, and hammerhead corvette. At nanoscale, these detailed little ships are meant to match up just right with the Eviscerator Imperial Star Destroyer, which is another model we've got, as well as several other ships that also match up just right with this fleet. It's really fun to expand on this smaller scale of building because you get to include much larger ships that otherwise wouldn't really be doable in fig scale or even micro sometimes. All three of these ships were developed in slightly different eras of the universe, but probably could have seen action together right at the tail end of the Clone Wars, maybe, or right afterwards. Anyways, I'll be getting further into the details in just one second. First, I do want to say that if you wanted to build any of these creations, you can get the instructions at our web store, www.brickvault.toys. Included with each purchase are the PDF step-by-step -step building instructions, and and a digital parts list for quickly ordering all the parts you're going to need online. We take the time to build each of our models and troubleshoot for strength, clarity of instructions, as well as rarity of parts. These are the first builds from the designer Alex Capodre that we've been working with that are up in the store right now, and they are some solid little creations. So anyways, uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can always check us out in the description below, linked in the description below, and let's get started with the biggest ship from this latest little wave. This is the Pelta class frigate. Depending on its description, I've seen it described as a command cruiser as well, and this ship saw most of its action during the Clone Wars, but also so uh, definitely served its purpose during the beginning of the Rebellion as well. In the current coloration you see here for the model, it looks like it's working for the Republic. And I think in this particular color combination, according to the universe, this is uh, what it looks like when it was usually acting as a medical frigate more than anything else. I personally thought this was developed in Corellia. It's got a lot of design similarities to the CR-90, both with the shape of the cockpit, as well as just many of the same angles kind of exist throughout the body, but in fact this was developed in a completely different place. Alex the designer did an excellent job matching up some pretty fun little angles here. There's a really interesting approach used for creating the shape of the front cone head of the model, and some subtle finessing of different hinge pieces and jumpers on the inside to get each angle correct as you move all down along the body of the model. These back fins also have the ability to fold inwards, which is a fun little accurate bit of detailing, and it's a all in all pretty rock solid and surprisingly heavy little model. It's pretty dense on the inside with all the interesting little angles that were achieved. Now I want to jump on over to the Consular Class Cruiser, or probably better known, in fact, as the Republic Frigate. This existed before the beginning of the Clone Wars and did indeed come from the Karelian Engineering Corps, so it does share uh, many similarities to the CR-90, and in fact, this is also known as the Charger C-70 and uses much of the same technology as the uh, classic blockade runner. Three engines instead of 11 doesn't give you the same kind of redundancy in a battle in case some get knocked out during a fight, but on the plus side for the Consular class cruiser, these engines are much, much bigger and more powerful. The shaping of this model in LEGO bricks is pretty straightforward at nanoscale. There's a few different areas where the stud orientation changes a little bit, but nothing too complex or intricate in order to get these nice little shapes. This is one of my personal favorite models that isn't from the original trilogy, and partially that's just because it looks a little bit more original trilogy-esque in terms of its design platform, and it's just cool to see what this thing looks like in the larger context of a bigger fleet. Now set at almost an identical size, really, is the Sphirna class Hammerhead, or it is better known as the Hammerhead Corvette. This too was developed on Corellia, though it does have some pretty significant design changes compared to the other two ships. And in universe, a lot of this ship was seen during the Rebels show, but also the wreckage of one is seen in uh, Bad Batch recently. 
So there's a fairly good chance that at least some of these were fighting just at the tail end of the Clone Wars as well. This has got a pretty interesting construction style, maybe a little bit more complex than the last model we just looked at. The diamond shape for the four engines in the back is sort of woven together with those rounded one by two plates, and that helps keep this whole area stitched together really strong while also retaining those cylindrical shapes for the engines in the back. There's some stud reversals here and there, a fun use of bracket pieces for the hammerhead shape in the front, and by far my favorite thing about this particular little model is that it scales almost perfectly. I mean, really darn close to exactly what it looks like when it's pushing up against the Star Destroyer in Rogue One. If I had to guess, maybe this nanoscale model is a plate or two long, but it looks so good when the hammer head of the ship is nestled right into the notch of the ISD here. And that I think is a pretty good segue over to the final note I want to get to in this video, which is the fact that, yeah, they all do scale together in Nano. These ships all have uh, standard size stands that go with them, but can be easily changed to create different heights, and of course integrated with other nanoscale ships for creating larger fleet battles. All of these particular models in this little wave here came from slightly different eras, but this universe is just so darn expansive that it wouldn't surprise me if any of these cruisers or frigates ever ran into each other uh, in a fleet battle at some point or another. Also, I feel like the good guys just need a bit more firepower in general when it comes to all the different models that are made in nanoscale so far. Anyways, Alex did a great job at knocking these three little ships out. Remember, if you did want to build any of them for yourself, you can get the instructions at our web store, www.brickvault.toys. Everything's linked below. Of course, of course, of course, let me know what types of models you'd like to see built in the future. We've got some big projects on the way. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.